Okay, so we have these funky glasses that we got from the camp store. Jessica brought them back. And they're like 3D glasses or something. But I'm going to try to put them on my camera and see if I can show you what I'm seeing with these glasses. It's really cool. Check out the fire, y'all. How cool is that? Isn't that neat? Hey, welcome back to Two Old Crows Homestead. Um, Shelly here, and this video... <laughs> They're excited. This video is going to be um, uh, Dutch oven cooking on the campfire. So. We're actually, Josh is gonna be working on a recipe that Jessica has that is um, smoked sausage and potatoes. And um, they're gonna be, they're usually, they're normally cooked in the oven, so we're gonna do it in the Dutch oven. And then I'm going to make a chocolate cobbler. So come along with me. For the smoked sausage and potatoes, Josh is going to slice up the potatoes, put them into the Dutch oven, and, um, and then he's also going to slice up the smoked sausage and he's gonna work on that while I work on the chocolate cobbler. For the chocolate cobbler recipe, we're gonna be using, um, I actually have two Dutch ovens. One of them, this is a 10 inch and um, it has legs on the bottom of it, which makes it easy to put coals underneath it. When you're cooking in a Dutch oven on the campfire, you want one that has a lid with a lip on it like this so see that way you can set coals inside of it this one is a lodge and a lot of them will say the diameter of the the um pot right there so this is a 10 inch um the one that josh is going to be cooking in it has the lid like that but it doesn't have legs on the bottom of it it works fine either way um the, the legs just make it a little bit easier to get started with this recipe, we're gonna spray cooking spray on the inside of it. Which I'm not really sure why, except for my recipe is um, one that is uh, usually done just in a baking dish in the oven. And then we're going to melt four tablespoons of butter in it. Can you cut that in half? Just lay that out. So we're gonna melt this in this skillet. And we're also going to put one and a quarter cups of water. I've got that in a pan. And we're going to get that just boiling on our campfire. So I've got those setting on the campfire, butter melting, and then I'm going to start mixing all of my other ingredients. All right, so um, we're gonna start with a, this recipe is actually um, all-purpose flour instead of self-rising flour. So um, I have a cup of all-purpose flour. So I need one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Um, a quarter teaspoon of salt. Three fourths cup of white sugar. We have cane sugar, it really doesn't matter. Because I don't buy white sugar, but. Three tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa. Biggie. Okay, so I'm adding half a cup of milk. And 
a teaspoon of vanilla. That is more than a teaspoon. It'll be all right. And I'm gonna stir all of this up. So you're gonna get a consistency that looks like this. It's kind of doughy. Okay. A little bit doughy like that, okay? Okay, so I have my butter melted in my um, in my Dutch oven. And a couple things I wanted to show you. Um, for cooking outside on the Dutch oven, this is an awesome tool to have. This allows you to pick up your Dutch oven from the fire. It also allows you to grab the hook that's on the lid and pick up that with all the coals on it so you can check what's under it. Also, one of these things are great for um, setting your Dutch oven on it, especially if you're, you know, like have a picnic table or whatever, you can set it on it to keep from burning the picnic table. Okay, so next we add our dough to this, but we don't stir it in. We just add it in there, okay? Which that looks kind of weird, doesn't it? What? James, that they're playing by himself. That's because I quit. And I quit since he quit. I'm just kind of, I'm not Throwing stirring it in. I'm just kind of spreading it around we'll in the butter. All right. So next, the recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar. Hold on a minute before you put that in the thing, okay? Okay. Trying to get it mixed right now. And a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm just pouring that on top of my sugar. Because we're camping, right? You don't have like a ton of utensils. And that should attract a numerous amount of ants. So the recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar, a half a cup of brown sugar, and a quarter cup of um, cocoa. And you're supposed to sprinkle that on top of this. I was going to mix it up in this bowl, but this bowl has, um, you know, that chocolate stuff in it. So I think I'm just actually going to sprinkle it directly in here. And then I'm going to sprinkle in the quarter cup of cocoa. And then that water that I had boiling, I've got it right here. So that cup and a quarter of water that I had boiling, I'm going to pour that directly on top. And again, with a chocolate cobbler, you don't stir anything together. You just pour it in there. Okay. I'm going to put the lid on my Dutch oven. So, okay, this is the thing about cooking with a Dutch oven. If you have coals, if you're using charcoal briquettes, there's a rule about how you do this to get a 350 degree oven consistency. Um, however many inches the diameter of your Dutch oven, so this one's 10, you would put you, you add two coals for the top and you subtract two coals for the bottom. So you would put 12 coals on top, eight coals on the bottom, and that's gonna give you a 350 degree Dutch oven to cook for however long you need to cook it. You just keep checking. I am not using charcoal briquettes. I am just going to use coals from the fire. So um, it works best when you do that because we've been burning wood and everything. It works best to put a few on the bottom and more on the top. That way you don't burn whatever is in your Dutch oven. So. I'm gonna need some tongs. So, in the smoked sausage and potatoes you get cut up, you put some vegetable oil or olive oil, onion powder, paprika. I use this Creole seasoning. 
and then salt and pepper. No certain amounts. I kind of put it in there from experience. I know about how much to put in there and what it should look like. It's going to be a trial and error. You can. But yeah, and if you don't want to use onion powder, you can put regular onion in it. If some people don't like the texture of an onion. If it's chopped up kind of fine, it doesn't bother, bother me. But just because some people don't like the texture, we're going with onion powder. You just really want that onion flavor to cook in there with it. Is that it? Wait! Okay. So right now I've got coals laying on the ground here underneath my pot. And then I've got coals on top. And they are going to heat up the Dutch oven and they're going to bake that chocolate cobbler in there. And I'm going to, I'm probably going to check it. It's supposed to bake for 30 minutes. I'm probably going to check it in 20 to see how it's doing, but we're going to have chocolate cobbler. Now you just kind of put them back in there. Make sure you, your um, Dutch oven is nice and greased. Yeah, because, I mean, this stuff's got a lot of oil in it already. But if you go ahead and make sure it's greased well, you won't have it stuck to the sides and, and burn. But that's kind of what it looks like when it goes in. Should have kind of a red tint to it from the paprika and the, the uh, Creole seasoning. Now you can add more Creole if you want it to be spicier. Me personally, I would coat it another layer, but I like a lot hotter stuff than most people do. So I'm gonna leave it like this so it doesn't burn everybody up when they're trying to eat. So he's gonna set that directly on those coals, just like that. And then we're gonna add more to the top. And again, we're heating up the top and the bottom to create that oven inside of our Dutch oven. And you can, I mean, you can seriously bake just about anything in a Dutch oven. We, um, I have another video from another camping trip that we took a year or so ago of this breakfast casserole thing that is one of our favorite camping breakfasts. That's burning my hand up. That's a good cold. You want to get yeah. you to grab it or? Yeah. Um, you can bake bread in these. You can make, um, isn't it tomorrow we're going to make the pizza, the pizza, Jessica? Yeah. She's making a breakfast pizza in the Dutch oven tomorrow, and we're going to videotape that as well so you can see that recipe. Um, and I will put... Down in the, the link, the description below, I will put the ingredients, all the stuff that, you know, we did to make these, but, um, yeah, this is how you do it. So we'll bring you back when they're done and you can see how it turned out. Okay. It's been approximately, it's been about 18 minutes and we're going to check these. This one on the left is the chocolate cobbler. Let's see what's going on in there. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. And I got smoke in my eyes. Woo. Okay. Back up, guys. So, and this is the um, sausage and potatoes. Yeah, the smoke will kill you. Oh, that's cooking good. I need to be stirred. Oh, it smells amazing. Here. Here are these if you want to use this. Ooh, those smell good. Look at that, guys. All right. Josh has decided he wants to add a couple more coals to the top of the um, smoked sausage. So. That's what we're doing there. And as you check these, you know, every 10 to 15 minutes, you can kind of see if you want to increase the heat a little bit, decrease it, whatever. Um, I feel like the chocolate cobbler's cooking real well. You probably ought to back up from that. That's really hot. Yeah, whenever you're doing this, make sure you keep your littles away from, because even though you're not seeing the fire, I mean, you can with that piece of wood smoking, but you're, it doesn't, 
Like this doesn't look hot like a, because you're not seeing the fire going, but it is super hot. So make sure you keep your kids away from them. All right, so I'm gonna check the chocolate cobbler. It's been about 30 minutes. The recipe says it takes anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes. But again, we're doing this in a Dutch oven and not in a regulated oven. So let's just take a look at it. And that looks amazing. Hey, Nemo. Yummy. So Nemo. what's gonna happen? Um, let me get the coals off of this. Actually, I'm probably gonna take the lid off because I don't want it to continue to bake. That's it. So I'm just gonna do this and set that lid over here. And then I'm going to take this and take it off the coals. Right there, right and I'm back. going to get this and set it right over here. Okay. And let that cool down. And we're going to have chocolate cobbler. Yay! Alright, so now Josh is going to check the sausage and potatoes. Oh my gosh, they look so good. So basically, you know this is done when uh, your potatoes are getting soft. What do you think? Maybe. We're not quite there yet. Yeah, we're going to let this cook just a little bit longer. By the time this is done, our chocolate cobbler should be cooled down. And we'll be, oh my God, that smells amazing. That chocolate cobbler. Oh, <coughs> I can't wait to dig into that. All right, it's been about 45 minutes since this has been on. Oh, yeah, that's really getting there now. There we go. Yeah, the potatoes are starting to. Oh, yeah. yeah they don't like much. Okay, go ahead. All right, so now it has been roughly an hour. I want to touch it for a second. Oh, yeah, I think it's ready for cheese. And they're done. So we're going to sprinkle cheese on this, cover it back up for a few minutes so the cheese gets all melted, and then it will be ready to eat. Put a good coating of cheese on it. Huh? So that's pretty much, what is that? Like a two cup bag. It's a two cup bag of cheese. And, and it shouldn't take long for that to melt up. Yep. And I'm gonna put the hot coals on top of that and make it. Oh, there we go. Right up my nose. You shouldn't laugh at your husband when he gets fire up his nose. You got any up. nose hairs up there? I don't know. It smells like I don't. <laughs> All right. All right. So we have the cheese on there. We're checking to see if it's good and melted. Oh, yeah. Take it off. Yeah. Take it off. Set it off to the side. Look at that. And it smells amazing. Too bad we don't have smell o vision, right? <laughs> Yum. Yeah. All right, so we're fixing to dig in. Yeah, I don't know. I always like this. Yeah. I can't wait. Wait. It's a surprise. Oh, we all get the honey. Don't bug me about the surprise. I'm just so excited. All, all right. right. Oh my gosh, that looks it's awesome. Out of way, yeah. Why don't you go try to wake him up? I tried to wake him up and he wouldn't get up and I just, I don't know I if I should just to. let him. Yeah. Did he not get up? No, he didn't hey, just leave him alone. Oh, no. Hey, do you want to try it? I got your little fork. No, me. That's your little fork, dude. You want the red one? Okay. 
You want to oh, try it? Look, yeah. the worm. Put oh, him behind your ear. Yeah. <laughs> it's a little bit hot, isn't it? Blow on it. Let's blow on it. Wait, How much is that? Blow on it. Five dollars. You pay five dollars for some ranch. Oh, I'm gonna worry about it. After I saw a little bit hot. Kids like it. Will you go in there and get that special sauce? Is it good? Oh yeah. Let's dig in. So here I've cut out um, a piece of the chocolate cobbler, and I'm gonna give it a try. Oh my god. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's so good. So, um, yeah, y'all give these recipes a try and uh, let me know how they turn out in the comments. Yeah, God bless you. Have a great day.